Welcome. Uh, we are sitting here in Chape. We're about to deliver a major milestone to the community. Um, the PEA is going live today. How do you feel? Oh, I feel very happy. This is uh, finally what we have been aiming for since uh, the past two, three years uh, when I joined the company. We had the resource uh, in 24, and now we're going to be delivering to the city a project that we believe will be an economic vehicle for the growth of the city. So the OpaMisca, you know, it's, it's been around for a long time. When, when, when we came here uh, and we first acquired this project back in 20, 2012, um, we sat down, in a, in a, just like in a town hall we're going to do this afternoon, and we said to the town, our objective here is to build an open pit. And obviously we're in uh, close to the town of Chape, who have been, frankly, extremely supportive. It's my belief that, by and large, they, they want economic activity, provided it is done responsibly with great care to the environment, but it's, it's about jobs, it's about insur ensuring the town's future for their children. And I think we've taken that very, very seriously, and I think that's evident in the PEA. Um, so talk a little bit about how, how we've phased the mining approach, when that actually begins, because it's not tomorrow, and that's part of it. We always have to manage expectations. And then talk about some of the other mitigation strategies we've done, like the tailings uh, facility, for example, that, that really makes this um, you know, state-of-the-art project, if you will. Well, thank you. Let's start with uh, the mining. The mining phases. Initially, the project starts with you know mining the higher grade. We're we're the, we're very happy and very pleased at uh, Opemiska. We have very high grade material that we can uh, use at the beginning of the project. That guarantees low cost of production, uh, net of byproduct, and it also brings uh, the payback in a very short term, you know, close to two years. And this is excellent uh, for the overall project. Now, when it's time to phase the mining uh, as it comes towards the town, we kept the last pushback, the one that actually encroached the town, for the last part of the mine, the, the last pushback. And we believe you know, this has an impact, a positive impact, on the way the mine will interact with the, uh, the citizen. Then on top of it, we we used the uh, uh, filter tailing approach, which you know minimized the. Uh, well, it, we don't have to build a dam. We don't have to deal with uh, slurry residue. We are building a, a stacking the tailing with the waste together, and on a membrane. And this basically makes the project much safer and much more environmentally acceptable. And this is the new way to do tailings in Canada. Good. Now, let's talk about the economics. I mean, it all starts there. Without um, an economic project, um, you don't go anywhere. But the good news is, uh, I think the economics really hit it out of the park, um, you know, in terms of CapEx, NPV, IRR, uh, and of course, payback. Uh, and that's using fairly conservative uh, inputs. Uh, we quote spot prices. And I mean, let's face it. I mean, I, this, this project is not going to be built in, you know, three, four, five years out at spot prices. I believe we're taking a long-term long -term directional bet on metals. So at, even at spot, I mean, this project looks fantastic. Nearly $900 million NPV, uh, almost a 40% IRR, uh, again, at spot prices. So I think you've delivered a socially responsible, uh, highly economic project that pays its capital back quickly. Congratulations. Tell me, give me some well, color. Well, I mean, it, it, the important thing here is that it's the gold content of the ore body mm -hmm. that basically, you know, on top of the fact that we have high-grade copper, we have those two uh, nice driver on the, on the geology side. And, you know, with the grade, both the grade of copper and the content of gold in today's market, I mean, this is a no-brainer. I mean, it was very... Uh, I have to say it was kind of simple to, you know, to get those kinds of figure when, you know, you start mining the first six years at almost 1% copper. So I think it's, it's critical. As you, as you discuss, you're an engineer. We're looking at the economics. It's all about the early stage payback. You know, really, I think you, you're the one that always tells me it's the first three years that hits your IRR. And we've got a high grade zone, which is what we call phase one in, in the project. That really goes a long way in paying back our capital, which is really the difference. And if you look at the first six years of the project, I think, what are we mining? 1% copper and, you know, uh, 90 million pounds copper equivalent. I mean, 
pretty substantial numbers. It's very interesting number, and as you said, and you you forget to mention that you know it's going to be at about a dollar copper net of byproduct uh, precious metal, and you know with those kind of number, we can weather uh, you know any kind of you know economic uh, uh, storm that we can get between now and then. That's right. I think we're in the, you know, the lower quartile. Everybody hunts for lower quartile uh, cost curve projects. OpenMesca checks that box. Uh, we've got a nice gold kicker, which is good. We've got even got a little bit of silver for you silver bugs. Um, uh, you know, uh, maybe we'll be XXX silver. Uh, yeah, you know, one if, day. If, if uh, silver goes to the moon. But look, uh, uh, phenomenal project. Um, uh, very much looking forward to, the, to, to presenting this officially to the town. Uh, we do this uh, once a year, sometimes twice a year, to maintain relationships. Um, the relationships with the communities, not just in Chippe, but the broader Shabugamu and the First Nations has been something that I think you've taken seriously and done a wonderful job at. Uh, so what are you expecting uh, tonight at the town hall? Uh, you know, we're very happy uh, to present it to the town tonight, and I think everybody in the town will be happily surprised with the way this project is shaping up. Also, we will begin some what we call pre-consultation, where we want to bring the dialogue and, and, and the, the, the discussion with the people in Chepe so that they can enhance the project from their point of view by bringing their concern and their solution to some of the problem that we may, uh, and the impact that we may bring to the city. Yeah, so we've got this this town hall, which I think is, again, running with the theme that we've done consistent, consistently ever since we've taken over this project. Tomorrow we have more one-on-ones, people coming into our office over on Springer Street to, to share our concerns. And I think, to me, it's just all about transparency and partnership, which is, which is critical. We've been transparent about our intentions on this project. Now we're asking for the town to be transparent with us. Um, come into the room. Ultimately, we're asking them to be our partners. Yes. And we want to hear their concerns now. Um, not in a year. Um, yeah. we, we can take their concern into the next phase yes. of the project and we can bring also their solution or you know their ideas on the way that we can mitigate those concerns. And this is, this is transparency and this helps everybody to be you know, into the kitchen while the project is cooking rather than being faced with something that's already designed and, and that you have to sell, you know, do the art sell to the, uh, the community. And we've been um, very coy. I think you know part of the part of the reason. I mean, I, I encourage people to look at our project economics on the Open Misca. Look relative to our market cap, relative to the fact of how much cash we have, relative to the fact we have cherry, which you know it's on, on it's yet to, it, we're yeah. going to save cherry for another day. But that's that's <laughs> that's a valuable asset. To, you're going to have to take my word for it for now. But when you look at us, it's almost like people don't believe what we have. And I think my opinion on that is that because. We haven't been able to show where the boundaries of this pit is. And so I think that lets people's imagination run wild. And so now we've shown it where it is. It's, it's nowhere near what I think the townspeople expected. It's nowhere near what the market expected. This project looks real, looks doable, it's economic. And, uh, you know, we are now on the map. That's how yeah. I see it. You know, Opamisk is on the map. We're going to move this forward. And it is on a size that, you know, it, it's a bite that we can chew. It's very important. It's not, you know, we're not talking billions of dollars of investment. It's something that, you know, is affordable and it's doable. I agree. So let's do it. Let's do it. Congra no more talking. We're walking now. All right. Congratulations, Guy. Honestly, well done.